Hi guys, it's been a while since my last video. I hope you all are doing well. Anyway, I have some great news for you guys. For those who want to get Lumina Neo and try the new AI generative tools, now is the good time because they are giving both new users and lifetime owners an opportunity to try the new generative features for 10 days. And also 30% off offer for the subscription membership starting from January 19 to 29. Watch till the end of this video to see how to get the 30% off offer. For those who didn't know yet, there are three generative tools in Lumina Neo for now, Gen Erase, Gen Swap, and Gen Expand. With Gen Erase, you can easily remove unwanted objects from your images just in a few clicks, and fill the gaps with elements that match the surrounding area. With Gen Swap, you can easily replace or change any elements in your photos with AI-generated visuals that integrate with the rest of your photo. This tool is like Photoshop's generative fields. With Gen Expand, you can effortlessly extend the background of your photos in just a few clicks to create more space for your favorite shots, allowing your subject to stand out against the white in your photos. And in today's video, we're going to try those tools and see how good it is. Because actually, I haven't tried yet since the release. So without any further ado, let's get started. So, the generative tools is located in catalog tab above the extensions menu right here. Okay, and I've prepared some photos for the examples as you can see. So first, okay, let's use generate to remove this blur object. Okay, so I'll just select it like this and press erase and let's see how it does I think it's gonna take a while okay as you can see let's zoom in yeah there's some flow right here if you zoom in and take a look but it does a pretty good job and if you take a quick look you will notice it okay so this is the before and after okay let's try to fix this area because it's gonna take a while I will fast forward the processing part so this video won't take too long well it's better now but if you take a quick look you won't notice the flawless right here Okay, let's try another photo. How about this one? And let's try to remove the car with Gen Erase. Because my computer runs slow, I'll fast forward the processing part and skip to the result. Okay, if you zoom in, let's clear selection first. It just adds some buses to the root and it doesn't look and it looks weird actually how about we apply it one more time yeah still the same result but different planes okay that's okay let's move on how about we try to remove this tree with genuine rays Okay, and let's try one more time and remove the tree. I think sometimes you have to use the generate a few times to get a better result. Well, if you take a look at it, and if you zoom in, you can see some weird silhouette around the area that I mask. So let's move on, and let's try Gen Swap. Okay, what is this photo? Okay, for this photo, how about we add a dog next to this person sitting right here. You can type whatever you want here. A dog sitting. And click swap. And let's see how it does. Well, the dog is not seating, but it looks pretty real. But if you zoom in, 
yeah this part looks weird but it does a pretty good job let's try another photo I'll try to swap this person and the footstep as well let's add a camel this one looks fake but okay that's okay I'll save it for now okay let's try to add a small boat around here and see how it does well it's kind of fake as you can see how about we give it another try maybe right here small boat okay this one looks better as you can see now it looks real okay that's cool let's save it and let's try gen expand no I don't want to use this photo uh, how about the portrait photo like okay like this one okay I'll try to expand it okay so uh, there's limit to how far you can stretch this photo as you can see I can I just can't stretch it this far okay I'll leave it here blank and click expand what is this no this is not what I want it looks weird but maybe let's try another photo how about this one okay this one looks better and yeah it looks real not like the one before let's try another photo about this one okay this one looks better and yeah it looks real still kind of fake this side but it's okay okay so that was Lumina Neos generative tools as you can see sometimes it gives weird results and sometimes it does well it is still not perfect but it does a pretty good job I'm sure it will eventually get better on the next update and for your information, this generative feature is only available for the subscription membership only. So if you have a lifetime license and want to upgrade, or if you are new users and if you are interested to get Lumina New, you can click on the link in the description to get the 30% off offer for the subscription membership. I'm sure these tools will make your editing so much easier. So make sure to click on the link in the description to get the discount. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit that like button like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.